What's up guys? Today we are doing an unboxing of my new inflatable kayak, the Intex K2 Explorer. Welcome back to another episode. Thanks for tuning in. So I bought this kayak, um, this inflatable kayak off, kayak off of Amazon for about $99. I guess back in the day, um, this kayak was going for about 75 bucks because I have seen some reviews um, stating that they've people have bought this for like a pretty cheap kayak. Um, unfortunately, it's uh, gone up in price since then due to COVID and everyone trying to get outdoors. So I got this guy for about 99 bucks, which I can't complain because a lot of my kayaks that I've had in the past, um, I usually have sit-in kayaks either from like Ascend, Lifetime. Um, I've done a lot of kayak fishing out of those kayaks, but this is the first time I've ever gotten an inflatable kayak. The reason why I got an inflatable is because I like the fact that it is packable and easy to store um, just in case we go, you know, hit the van life, um, I can bring this guy with us pretty easily. So I'm gonna unbox it for you guys today um, and see, kind of, you know, get my first impressions of it and see how it holds up. Looks like we got a nice bag here. So this thing, out of the box, um, it feels like it is about like 50 pounds or so. We got our air pump. We got our paddles here. Looks like we got the seats. The seats look like they are a single piece seat. So you just gotta inflate both sides. We've got a user manual. We've got a little fin at the bottom. And I guess this thing goes at the bottom of the kayak to help it go straight or keep straight. Some seats. Two seats. And looks like those are both Velcro so you can take one out if you're not using both seats so this can be converted into a single person kayak. I like that it has the uh, big bag that ever comes with everything. You can store everything in there. Paddles all break down into four parts, which is nice. So there comes with two paddles, which is awesome because paddles are not cheap. Okay, so, and from what I've read, it looks like there are three different um, inflatable areas within the kayak. The material on this is, feels really good actually. Um, I've had some, you know, I've owned a couple like inflatable boats and this material is pretty nice. It definitely feels like it's good quality, which is awesome. It's already got some of the line wrapped around it for being able to tie the boat down and everything. It's pretty nice. And this, uh, this whole length right here is 10 foot is what it says. So, or at least is what is advertised. Two person max, 400 pound maximum on this. Let's see how long it takes for me to pump this guy up. So to inflate, I'm just gonna take the top, very top scupper off, or top cap off. Plug this guy in here. Looks like it's a pretty snug fit, so you don't have to like hold on to it, which is nice. And
All right, so it took about four minutes to blow up this entire boat, which is pretty impressive. That's awesome. And I was using the manual pump, so that's pretty cool. This pump is surprisingly works really well. I'm very impressed with that. Usually the pumps that come with like, you know, inflatable boats, they're usually not that great, but this like, this pumped up this pretty quick. So there are three chambers in here. Um, the first uh, one, two, and then we have the floor right here. Um, I definitely recommend blowing up the floor first and then blowing up these two sides. I kind of did it backwards. I did the sides first and then the floor. The reason why I would say to do it the other way is because it was kind of hard to reach under here to get to the, the plug if you already have this guy um, inflated. So definitely do the floor first and then the sides. Um, is what I would do later. It looks like we also have um, this inflatable area here, which I did not blow up. I'm, I probably will, but for the main portion of the boat, it blows up in about four minutes, which is awesome. I think I might actually even just keep this because I'm impressed with that with that uh, with that pump. Um, looking at the boat now that it's inflated, um, inside here there's actually a little scupper plug so you can drain water out which is nice um and then it looks like these also inflate which i'll get these inflated right now these clips stay on the actual pump hose which is nice because i always lose these guys what's funny is that there's actually numbers here but who reads instructions right um so it does look like this is first second third fourth and then the fifth is in the back this is the front of the boat Again, the plastic on here is actually, it's pretty tough. I'm actually kind of surprised for a $100 kayak. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know how, how helpful this thing is gonna be. I'm not even really sure why. I think this is just to kind of cut waves, you know, whenever it's coming in and it'll kind of, it'll, it'll make the water kind of flow outward. So I guess that's nice. It's kind of like a bow like a little shield so when the water does come in it just kind of it doesn't just go into the boat it kind of flows to the sides so i kind of understand what that's what's going on there same with the back um i think essentially what this is doing is that it's making uh it's kind of shielding the boat so water doesn't just easily come in if you're like hitting waves or if waves are coming coming in behind you um so the water's not just gonna like pour in it'll kind of hopefully drain to the side so that makes sense um, and we got all these ropes around here. That's interesting. So it looks like you can actually take this part out if you really wanted to. It looks like this actually isn't connected at all. So this whole piece right here in front can actually come off, it looks like. I don't know why you would ever want to do that, but yeah. The floor is pretty, uh, is pretty stiff. There's a little scupper plug that I was telling you guys about. So if you do get water inside, you can drain it easily. So it looks like, oops, looks like these are where the seats are gonna go. So let's get those seats blown up right now. So the seats are two parts, uh, two compartment seats. So you got the back and the bottom. So let's get these guys blown up. I'm using one of the smaller plugs and then when you get it in there, you kind of have to pinch the little area around so it, it, it'll, it'll allow it to open up air or get air in there. Okay, so seat number one. This might have been harder than blowing these up may have been harder than blowing up the damn boat but all right so we got our seats in let's go ahead and place them looking at the velcro strip in the middle it looks like the front seat so this front seat is pretty adjustable so you can move it forward or back depending on if it's you or if there's two people in the boat which is nice so i'm going to set this up for two people first 
bottom C in. This is pretty nice with the straps here because you can adjust them, um, you know, depending on how far back or how forward your seat is. And these are adjustable, which is nice. So it gives that back seat some support, which is really cool. Just get this other guy. And this, I'm just gonna put it all the way towards the back to give us some ample space. Again, straps, straps are really, these, these straps are actually really cool just because um, that way you can actually lean back on this. So that's actually really smart. I like that a lot. And then you can just, you know, tighten them depending on how, you know, how loose you want your back to be. So that's pretty nice. I am really digging these straps here just cause then you can really lean back and kind of lounge, especially if you're just kind of, you know, hanging out on the water for the day. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. You can also adjust it depending on like, if you have someone smaller in the back for their legs. Cause that's, I'm kind of curious, like how, when this back person sits, like where their legs kind of go in here, if it's gonna go like, you know, into the cracks or what whatnot. The front seat though, um, looks like the, you have pretty, uh, you know, a good amount of room here. I really, really like how the Velcro comes really far back. So you can actually, if you take this back seat out, you can bring this seat more towards the middle. So you're more of an even keel within the kayak. Not bad though, this is, I am pretty impressed actually. It's pretty nice. All right, so now what we're gonna do is put the paddles together. This is a four piece paddle. Usually um, in the past I've had um, usually two piece paddles. Sometimes the paddles that come with inflatable boats and stuff, they're really cheap. And so I usually chuck them out and buy better ones. Um, these ones feel pretty solid. Um, so I, I don't know if I'll replace these, but I have heard that these paddles are not long enough for how wide this kayak is. So we're, we'll test that out right now. So here's paddle number one. I'll just show you here. So notice if you are in the kayak and you're paddling, I can definitely see that this is going to be a little bit too short. So as you're paddling, you're going to hit yourself on the boat and you really got to dive down to really, you know, get some speed. Cause this kayak is pretty wide you definitely might want to either extend these. And I've seen people extend this middle piece with like a broom or something, and then they just like tape it together. There we go. So, you know, if there were two of us, cause I'm a little bit farther forward on this boat, um, this paddle length, isn't too bad actually. Um, I can see this working pretty well. The paddles are pretty sturdy. Um, I've had some issues with some inflatable boats where they're, you know, cheapo piece of plastic paddle. Like I've broken them the first time I've taken the boat out. So, um, and then I've usually replaced them with something else, but these are, you know, these are pretty solid. So good job Intex on those for giving you a quality paddle that comes along with this set, especially at this price point, because Paddles by themselves are like 60 to $80 and this boat was a hundred bucks. So <laughs> I could see them put like, you know, throwing in a really crappy plastic paddle. Um, but this is pretty, I mean, this is pretty solid. I don't think it's gonna break. Um, at least definitely not on your maiden voyage at least. And you have two of them, so that's, that's nice. Wow, this, is actually, this actually isn't bad. Um, I thought there wasn't going to be enough leg room in here, but 
I'm not the tallest dude in the world, so this is pretty comfortable for me. Um, again, the paddle length itself, these feel pretty solid and they do feel adequate. Like the length is adequate enough to be able to paddle properly on this boat. All in all, I mean, the seat is really comfortable though. So you can see back here, the seats are, you know, they're supported by this, by this uh, belt that go, goes around and the plastic on this feels really good actually. It's not bad at all. Um, it feels like good quality and I think it'll last. So that's good. Especially these welds right here. This feels like, you know, it's not going to break or anything, especially with this holding your seat up. You definitely want to make sure your seams are really good and these feel very solid. So that's nice. This feels really comfortable. You can, you know, kind of bring this up a little bit if you want a little bit more support or if you just want to kind of lounge back. I can see, I can see my wife just kind of leaning back like this and, uh, you know, letting me paddle and as she just sunbathes in the back. <laughs> All right. The handles on here feel pretty solid as well. This boat, I think it's probably, I don't know, 20 pounds or something. Um, so you could, this is definitely a one man job uh, to carry the boat around. Definitely would be careful about dragging this though. So if I was carrying this out by myself, I'll probably just grab it on the side and then just carry it along with me. I really wanted something that was portable, easy to carry, um, doesn't take a lot of room in my garage. And so this I think is gonna fit the bill and I can bring the wife along too if she ever wants to come with me. But when she's not, what I can do is just, you know, take these seats out. Easy enough. And then I will scoot this front seat back a little bit so I'm a little bit more even. So I would probably scoot this most likely down back probably around here probably as far as it'll go you know so this is what the setup would look like if i was in it by myself most likely i'd put that seat you know very towards the middle or maybe bring it up a little bit if i have some gear back here what i plan on doing is creating a fishing crate um that'll hold like you know any of my catches so if i'm fishing back there i'm also going to put like some pole holders and i might create some kind of bow system where you know, I can put bait up here and a little cutting board um, so I can cut bait pretty easily and then, you know, fish, uh, put a fishing rod holder down, maybe, maybe make it out of some PVC pipe. It's not going to be a permanent fixture, but something I can just kind of throw in there um, when I'm going fishing by myself because I want it to be able to be modular where I can, you know, re reconfigure this into a two person kayak versus just a one. But essentially you have all of the side connections, at least what I'm thinking as a way to, you know, store some stuff and be able to strap it down in the kayak in case it does flip over, I don't lose all my crap. So I might run another, you know, rope line around the side. That way I have more tie down points. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Overall, I'm quite impressed with this. I'm pleasantly surprised for 99 bucks. I mean, the quality of the plastic's really good. The seats are both pretty comfortable. Um, there's a lot of room in here, surprisingly, which I didn't think there would be, especially when there's a second seat in here. Um, I thought it was gonna be pretty cramped, but honestly, it's still pretty comfortable. There's a lot of leg room. And even with the two person, like the two seats in here, you can definitely still fit like a little six, um, six pack cooler in here or something. And definitely some gear in the front. So if you have like uh, dry bags, I would I could easily store a dry bag of stuff you know in here and then use the side side railings or the side rope to really secure it in there with some bungees or something something that I didn't mention um, I, they, the paddles do come with uh, some water stoppers so as you're paddling the water doesn't like drip onto your hands so yeah if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments below um, I'm gonna be taking this bad boy out probably um, sometime this week and then I'll film another video for that but again this is the unboxing for the Intex K2 inflatable two-person kayak 
Not bad at all. I really like this. I also like how there is a bag that comes along with the kayak as well, which is super nice. It also comes with a little fin. I don't know how much I'm gonna use this fin just because I usually launch by myself. And so I'm still a little bit close to shore. Um, I just don't know how I would put this fin on there if I'm already in it and trying to paddle away from shore. So I don't know, This I may not ever use this, but I'll try like putting this on and then taking it off to see if I even notice the difference. Supposedly this is just what helps it go in a straight line. Um, so we'll see, we'll find out. I'll try it out though, a little shark fin. And again, this pump, I am pleasantly surprised with this pump. Double quick two by Intex, nice job. Usually pumps that come with air, uh, these inflatables are garbage, but definitely this would be easy to store up in the front, you know, like that. So, or even like, you know, inside of here, because there's some room in here actually where I could see you kind of storing a couple things in here. So that's pretty cool. If you guys have any questions, drop down, drop a comment down below. Thanks again for watching guys. I will be doing a lot more videos about this boat and uh, some of the modifications for fishing that I'm gonna do to it. Definitely gonna be putting like a, a rod holder in there, some kind of crate system to keep tackle, snacks, uh, fish that I've caught, you know, so they're not just like, the fish aren't just floating around in the, in the boat. Thanks again for watching guys. I appreciate it. If you guys like this video, definitely click the like button below. Subscribe to the channel. I do videos every week. Uh, pretty much everything outdoors, fishing, hiking, camping. So if you guys like videos like this, definitely check my channel out. Subscribe. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you on the next one.